What's up, folks? Alright, so I recently uploaded a, uh, a pic to my YouTube showing, you know, that I got the trophy for beating Millennia and Millennia Shardbearer and all that. And I uploaded, like, the video just kind of briefly glancing at my stat screen and whatnot. I was level 286 when I completed that fight, and I felt like the short in the video that I uploaded didn't really do it justice in terms of explanation. It's like, alright, so you flashed the screen once, right? Douche. <laughs> so I'm not going to be that guy. I'm going to actually go through item by item and explain to you what I chose and why. So, my primary weapon... First of all, you notice that this is very streamlined. This is, this is no bullshit. This is no fluff. And the purpose of that is so that I don't have to cycle through things frantically... I can get through things efficiently because this is a game where nanoseconds matter. So that said, here we have the Star Scourge Great Sword. I had that to plus ten for the fight. That's my primary weapon, and I'm on PS4, so that means that I'm going to be using both. Uh, I basically, I hold triangle and then I tap R1, and that makes it so that I'm actually two-handing it. That is gonna do more damage. So this is what it looks like when you're just in single hand and then you've got the ability to use your left in left hand incantation holding triangle, tapping R1, boom. Now we're ready to do some serious damage. Um, let's see, also in my spells, I had it extremely streamlined. Let me change this real quick so you can see exactly what the loadout looked like. So, it was... This is all I had. Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me Strength. Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me Strength. It's the only two things I had to worry about there. And of course, when I got into the battle, first thing I did was pop the Mimic tier, then heal, pop a Flask of uh, Wondrous Physic. Let me explain what I got in my Flask of Wondrous Physic so that we've got that detail. Let's see. Right now we've got the Crimson Burst Crystal tier and the Opaline Bubble tier. It made the difference. It worked. That's how I roll. Going back to the actual build now. The finger seal that I used was, or uh, the sacred seal that I used, the golden order seal, had it to plus nine. Whole purpose of having this is golden vow, flame grant me strength. Veteran's helm, veteran's armor, veteran's gauntlets, and veteran's grieve. This is my favorite set of gear. The second set of gear is the black knight, or black knife knight, because you're totally silent. And that's cool and all, but honestly, most of the time, I just roll around with the veteran stuff. And it's not just because I'm a veteran, it's because it's got high poise. Really high poise. In fact, higher poise than Star Scourge Radon's armor. So, and why does poise matter? Because when you're casting, it's going to keep you from getting interrupted. Which brings us down to what I'm casting, which is Star Caller Cry. A lot. <laughs> And it seems a little bit crazy trying to, you know, play get over here with uh, Millennia because most people are trying to get the hell away from her as much as possible. Unless, of course, you're dodging forward through her third attack and her funky little dance, the waterfowl dance. But yeah, the uh, talismans here we got carrying filigreed crest, lowers FP consumed by skills. Well, I use Star Color Cry a lot. <laughs> a lot and basically follow up with like a jumping heavy attack so that means it needs to cost less because it's expensive it's going to take a combination of stamina and FP Roar Medallion enhances roar and breath attacks Star, Star Caller Cry is a roar attack Shard of Alexander yep I killed Shard bro or jar bro and greatly boosts attack power of skills you damn right it does 
you hit significantly harder with your skills, specifically Star Color Cry, when you got this on. Green Turtle Talisman. This is so meat and taters, and I had it for most of the game. Because increasing stam recovery speed is extremely helpful, because just about everything you do takes stamina. Flask of Crimson Tears plus 10. So I had, the way I, I had this balanced, 8 and 6, as you can see. 8 of the Crimson, 6 of the Cerulean. We already went over the Flask of Wondrous Physic. Again, Crimson Burst Crystal Tear, Opaline Bubble Tear. And you can get that like pretty near the game, or near the beginning of the game. And of course, Mimic Tear Ashes, plus 10. Your Mimic Tear, it's people are like, oh, I hate the Mimic Tear. Your Mimic Tear is as good as you are. So if you're pretty awesome, your Mimic Tear is going to be godlike. Thing's a beast. Now you notice my stats on the right side, currently level 336, sitting on a bunch of runes because I'm grinding for runes right now so I can continue to get my level up. I'm actually eventually grinding for max level here, but Vigor at 60. I've had my Vigor at 60 for a long time, and it's because everything hits like a truck in this game and is likely to one-shot you. <laughs> Even and, and with Vigor 60, it finally reaches a point where you no longer feel like a constant victim. Uh, but I definitely will be maxing that at some point. Mind 50. Nobody ever puts points into mind. I put points into mind. And I got it up to 50, and I could probably use more, but as of right now, 50 is plenty. And it gets me what I need to be able to cast Star Caller Cry enough during major boss fights at critical times. Endurance 60, because... Dodge roll and carry capacity, important. Also stamina. But I'm not primarily a stamina build. I'm kind of like a hybrid build, which is where you see those two massive 80s. Now, 80 ain't 99, but it's 80. <laughs> and it's in strength and intelligence. And strength and intelligence apply to both facets of the Star Caller Cry uh, skill. And I'll, I'll give you a demonstration uh, against these albinarics in a minute. But the idea is that when you are hitting the skill, the first part of the skill, and drawing everything in, that's going to take FP. When you follow it up with a strike, that's going to take a combination of FP and stamina. So then strength dex, okay, no, strength is covered, dexterity is 40 right now, that's one of those things I'm getting around to, but based on scaling right now, I feel like I'm getting more growth out of putting points into, or at least up to this point, I felt like I've got more growth out of putting points into strength and intelligence, uh, because dexterity is just kind of mids on the uh, scaling for Star Scourge Greatsword. Uh, let's see, Faith 25, that's just so I can use Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength. Arcane 20, didn't put a lot of points into it, but I did put some points into it so that I can use everything and so that drops don't suck. Now we were just talking about scaling, again, Star Scourge Greatsword, scaling, you got B on Strength, D on Dex, and D on Intel. So the first thing I did, because I fell in love with this weapon as soon as I got it, first thing I did was start putting points into uh, strength. Once my strength was at a level where I could actually like start doing some decent damage, then I really focused on playstyle, and that's when I brought up the intelligence a lot, and it made a huge difference. So let's see, let's go over my stats real quick. Current status, level 336. Yep. So yeah, pretty awesome all around. I'm not going to read every stat, I'll just leave this up on the screen for a second if you're curious and you want to look over it. See where I'm coming from right now. Alright, so let's do a quick demo of what I mean with the star color uh, 
and cry. Oh man, I haven't played this one. I don't even know how to play anymore. <laughs> Now again, notice the, uh, you can see FP and stamina go down. Actually, FP and stamina go down on both. Okay, I got a whole circle to run. <laughs> Look at that damage. That's just mean. obviously not grinding right now but yep this is the build wanted to go more in depth give a little demo exactly of what it is I'm trying to do here and that's it so if you like to see hit that heart button leave a follow if you're on YouTube like and subscribe share show your friends and thanks for watching peace